Two weeks ago, the 2A community went to DEF CON 1 when news broke that Liberty Safe had voluntarily cooperated with the FBI to gain non-destructive access to a customer safe. Like most Liberty customers, I had no idea that a backdoor existed. The backlash online was swift and justified. But that isn't the whole story. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at Liberty's business practices, their friendly relationship with Securam, why you should be concerned, and what steps you can take to protect yourself. Liberty is in the business of building safes, not locks. They partner with companies who make locks so that they can focus on their core business. So let's start with a look at the lock itself. Now, my particular lock is a Securam ProLogic model L01, but all Securam ProLogic locks have three default codes when they're new. ID00 is the super code and defaults to 111111. ID01 is the manager code and defaults to 123456. And the third and final code is the recovery code, which defaults to 999999. To be secure, you need to change all three of these codes to something only you know. But Liberty Safe customers can't do that on their own. By default, customers were only given control over the manager code. The higher level super code was retained by Liberty. Securam was not innocent here either. Their own online dealer training videos proved that they knew what Liberty was doing and promoted it as the way to do things as an authorized Liberty dealer. Here's a 30 second clip from Securam's Liberty dealer training playlist with instructions on changing the super code and what to do with it. We've changed the super code from its default value of 111111 to 121212 or a unique super code. This super code will be maintained by Liberty as a reset code. It's the highest level code and will allow you to do things like recovering from lost codes. So it's important to report this unique super code back to Liberty so they can tie it to the safe serial number where you're installing this particular lock. That sums it up pretty clearly. Change the code, give the code to Liberty, and Liberty will tie that to the customer safe serial number. What was absent from the training was any mention of how to generate a unique code, whether the dealer should keep a copy, and how to protect that data. After the incident, Liberty pivoted quickly, offering customers the option to have their super code expunged. I don't recommend that option because I don't trust that it hasn't already been compromised. We have no insight into the cybersecurity practices, controls, and audit trails surrounding how that data was protected. If it hasn't been stolen yet, you can bet that a hacker is already thinking about how to get their hands on that database. It's not a matter of if, but when. I believe the super code is your property and that Liberty should be required to give it to you for free. If you had that code, you could change it to anything you want, making what Liberty has on file irrelevant. I called Liberty's customer support line to request exactly that. They were polite, and they quickly steered me to this online combination request form to obtain the super code. It requires customers to submit a bunch of personally identifiable information to verify their identity. Okay. Additionally, the form must be notarized and Liberty charges a $25 fee for the service. That's right. They withheld a code to the lock you own and then converted that into a new revenue stream for their own business, selling it back to you. The request form may be the most affordable way to go, but for me, it was off the table. I'm not giving Liberty another dime. So what else can you do? The next most affordable option would be to replace the existing keypad and lock body. There are plenty of good options out there for either electronic or mechanical locks. I initially considered moving to a mechanical lock, but in the end, I really like the convenience of an electronic lock as long as I alone hold all the codes. I ran across a company called MBA USA. I'll link it in the description below. They're based in Kentucky and they've been in business for 28 years. At the time I filmed this video, they were selling a combo package of the ProLogic L02 keypad and swing bolt lock body for $99. I ordered up the new hardware 
and part two of this video will cover the removal of the old lock and installation of the replacement. So go ahead, take a moment to like and subscribe now so that you don't miss it when I publish part two. But there is one more elephant in the room we need to talk about. Despite Liberty's ill-advised practice of keeping a database of all their customers' super codes, Securam ProLogic locks have another mechanism for gaining entry. That is where the recovery code comes in. When the recovery process is initiated by entering the recovery code, a unique alphanumeric string is generated on screen. That code can then be deciphered using Securam's authorization code generator software. It's a powerful tool that they have, and apparently they gave it to Liberty Safe and their Liberty dealers as well. Let's watch a one minute clip from the dealer training video about how the recovery process works. So let's assume that uh, your customer has forgotten all of their codes and you've contacted Liberty and for some reason the super code that they had on file is not valid in this particular lock. Here's what you can do. Again, you know no codes. The safe is locked. Press the menu button. Scroll down until you see Recover System. You'll notice I went by Recover Code Set to Recover System. Now press OK. It says, are you sure you want to recover the system? I say, yes. It says, enter the code. So our standard recovery code is 999999. Now that doesn't do anything. It doesn't reset it. It does produce this algorithmic number here that we can then decipher using a piece of software that we've provided to Liberty. And they can then provide you with a reset code that you can then enter into the safe lock and it'll set everything back to a factory default. Super code will be 111111. Manager code ID01 will be 123456. User code will be deleted. So this is a very effective way to restore everything back to factory default if you don't know any codes. Now, of course, this is a very powerful tool. It's only available to Liberty dealers and it's only available through Liberty. So certainly contact Liberty customer service if you need to do a recover system. It's worth noting that the ProLogic manual says there is no limit to the number of times a system can be recovered using this process. If Securam already had this built-in mechanism for getting a customer back into their safe when no codes are known, why didn't Liberty just stick with that? And the truth is, I don't know. Interestingly, nobody at Liberty or my Liberty dealer thought it was worth changing the default recovery code. The default code still works on the ProLogic lock that came with my Liberty safe. In my opinion, that's another a potential attack vector. I don't know if Securam would follow in Liberty's footsteps and allow the Fed's access to recover a customer lock. Because we know Liberty dealers have access to the software tool, it's worth changing the recovery key to something unique that only you know. At the end of the day, most law-abiding citizens aren't going to find themselves in an adversarial situation with the FBI. But the genie is out of the bottle, and there's no turning back when it comes to the potential of Liberty's master database being stolen. I'm hoping Liberty will see this and agree to waive all fees for any customer who wants to request their super code. If they won't do that, your next best option is to buy a new lock so that you alone control everything. If you are nervous about changing your lock, trust me, it is not as difficult as you might think. Stay tuned for my next video where I will walk through the entire process. You won't want to miss it. And you might even be surprised at what's hiding behind your safe store panel. Thanks for watching.